you know. After all what I went through in the last year. Pastor, uh, would, you, would you please state your full name? Johannes Eisler. G O H E W N E S. E I S L E R. And call, call myself Hans. H E W N S. Abbreviation of Johannes. Now, when and where were you born? 6th July, Leipzig, Germany. What year? 1898. What is your present address? Do you have any relatives in the United States? Yeah. Will you name them for the committee? Gerhard Eisler. Miss Ruth Fischer. What is your occupation? I'm a composer. Musical composer? Musical composer, and yeah, have some international reputation. Of international reputation. In what institutions did you receive your musical education? In Vienna and the Academy. And, and pupil of the famous composer Arno Schoenberg. How many times have you been in the Soviet Union? As the last time I remember was 35. I must be before at least 32 and 31. 31, 32, 32 and 35. 35. It's possible that I was once more, you know. But I really uh, cannot remember. You remember uh, three times? Three times, yeah. Maybe could be four. It could be four. Maybe it was like 29 or something. I said, cannot recollect. Uh, why did you go to the Soviet Union, Mr. Eisen? I made a moving picture there. Uh, the news takes the floor, is the title of the moving picture. It just made trip, two, trips two trips necessary. What year? Uh, that was 31, 32. 32. 35, I had some concerts, some lectures there. The stage, public, the stage publishing house prints that a symphony of mine. I had to talk to the publishing house. And it was a, a, a stay from five, six weeks, I think. Were you ever employed by the Soviet Union in no. any capacity? No, I was like many, many artists. Okay. Did you ever receive any money from the Soviet government? No. Naturally, I got my fee from the publishing house that every author gets from every publishing house in the world. Did you ever receive any money from any individuals other than the publishing houses in the first No. <laughs> <laughs> no.